In this video, we're going to have a look at how to get the current time from SQL Server and also have a look at how to use time zones. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. Well, in ANSI SQL, so the standard SQL, that you have use of current underscore timestamp. That gets you the current time. When? Well, it is the current time according to wherever the SQL server is located. So if I'm in the East US and I'm querying this on a computer that's on the West US, then I'll get the time for the West US. Now, this is the ANSI SQL. And it's important to realize that because all of the others will be the SQL server version. So SQL does support current timestamp, but they have their own version and everything about their own version uses brackets. So current timestamp has an underscore and doesn't use brackets. All of the others that you're going to see do use brackets, but don't have an underscore. So both of these give you exactly the same result. So get date and current underscore timestamp. Now, what about if you wanted to get the current date? And by the way, you will see that date includes date and time. But what if you wanted to do it for UTC? So what is UTC? UTC is the Coordinated Universal Time. It's also known as GMT. There may be some minor differences, but this is Greenwich Mean Time. So what is the time in London in winter? Now, I should point out that London has daylight savings time. So the time in London right now, I'm recording in the summer, is one hour after GMT or UTC. So for that, we can select get UTC date. And again, we need the brackets. So because I'm recording this in England, the time in UTC is one hour beforehand. Now notice that all of these have got three decimal places. They are being returned as a date time, which is accurate to one three hundredth of a second. If you want more accuracy, then you can use sys. So sys date time. Now this gives you it as a date time two and specifically a date time two open bracket seven. So this gives you it to seven decimal places. Additionally, there is also a sys UTC date time. So that gives it the current date time in the coordinated universal time or GMT. And there is also a sys date time offset. So this gives me the answer not as a date time two, but as a date time offset, open bracket, seven close bracket. So you can see that currently I am one hour ahead of UTC. Now let's have a look at a road map. And you can see here I am in UTC, even though in the summertime I'm technically one hour ahead. So usually we go forward and backwards in one hour increments. However, that is not always the case. Look at India, for instance. India is neither four hours ahead, nor five hours ahead, nor six hours ahead. It happens to be four and a half hours ahead. So time zones not only have an hour offset, but they also have a minute offset. And notice that you can go up to 14 hours. I think you can go up to 14 hours and 30 minutes and you can go back 11 hours. And there are some areas in the world where you lose a day. So that's your international date line. So what is my current time zone? Well, I can get that by selecting current underscore time zone, open bracket, close bracket. And here you can see I'm in time zone UTC plus zero, Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, London. So even though I am actually one hour ahead, the current time zone is as per winter. So do be careful, there are no daylight savings time included with this. Now, how can I use the date time offset? Well, I can select date time offset from parts and this will allow me to build it up. So I could build up the year 2025, February the 3rd at 2 p.m. with 25 minutes and 36 seconds. I also need to put in how many fraction of a second. So let's put in 123 fractions of a second. 
but are those milliseconds, are those microseconds? So I need to say that they are free. In other words, three decimal places, which makes the 123 milliseconds. However, something is missing. This is a date time offset. So I need to put in the offset. So suppose I wanted to put in that I was in London in the summer, so one hour ahead. I put in one hour and zero minutes. But notice I put this here. So I'm separating the fractions and the precision of the fractions. It's a very odd setup, but this is how you use the date time offset from parts. There are 10 parameters, making this probably the longest function in SQL Server. So what other functions are there relating to offsets? Well, I can use select to date time offset. So this takes something like a date time, in other words, something which doesn't have a offset component. So you can use date time too. So let's use the function that we had right at the beginning, current timestamp. So that is my date time. And I want to say, well, I am in London time. So when I execute this to date time offset, it has this date and time and then gives it a timestamp, a time zone. Now notice it doesn't do any converting. Suppose I wanted to go to the West US. Now don't forget this is summer. So while the West US is eight hours behind GMT, it's only seven hours behind it in the summer. So if I do this, you notice the time is 416. The time is still 416. So it doesn't matter in a sense what offset you put in, it will simply be added at the end of the date time to make it a date time offset. Now, if you wanted to go from one date time offset to another, then you can do that using switch offset. So this requires a date time offset. So let's use something that I've used before, which is this sys date time offset. And let's go, currently we are in plus one hour. Again, let's go back to the West US, seven hours behind. And there we can now see that the time is 8.17 in the morning in the West US. So this does change the time switch offset, whereas to date time offset doesn't, it merely appends an offset. So here we've got 10 functions that you can use to get the current time, but in addition, you can use time zones as well. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button and why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.